big go-go. <laughs> He's just gonna sit there. We could get in C2. Oh, he's a little thin. Yeah, number seven, we tied the record. Good morning, everybody, from the Tomalip and Thorn Scrub. It is day three of this trip, the, uh, the second full day, and uh, we're really hoping to get into our milk snake today. That's the big thing I want to see. Uh, there's lots of other potential snakes we could find, but we're going to go straight into the tin flipping and do that for the entire day. So let's get to it. Today we're joined by uh, the Tomalip and Tin Man himself, Clint and Kyle from Pop Milk. Yep. Hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. We get a snake, I'll change my mind though. Rat. Nice. First snake of the day. First snake of the day. A little thorn scrub rat. We saw quite a few of these over the trip so far, but uh, they're very cool. Whip, oh, Ruthven. Beautiful Ruth. Nice. Yeah. That's a nice. Doesn't have that like kind of baby look. That makes him almost into too cool from shots. Yeah, he's geen. Very nice. He's doing the thing, Kyle. Where he? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have a repeat experience with uh, young Ruth here. Ah, this is a really nice one. I just love that olive green. Yeah. Is it? Ow. Ow. <laughs> All right. Well, there is our first uh, new species for the trip of the day. This is a Ruthven's whip snake. Same species as the Shots whip snake, but a different subspecies. And as you can see, he's quite a bit different. They're a little bit more green, less blue. And they get a little bit of orange on them. Really good looking whip snakes, just like the Shots, um, but more restricted in range to deep South Texas. So very, very cool. This is probably the first time I've shown this species on the channel too, so we'll uh, get a quick photo and let him go. Hopefully we'll see more today, but that is a great looking whip snake. Oh. Uh, he was in this kind of grass. I mean, do you think one of them could have been found? Oh, Indigo, right there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, there's a cactus. There's a... Go, 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 go. Nice. I can tell you, dude. That was cool. <laughs> yeah. Over the cactus. Nice cactus leap. That's gonna be a good POV on my on my angle of Kyle yeah. going in. I was being a weenie. I didn't want to. <gasps> it's a good one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What's up? What a guy. God man. Did you? Such a handful of this guy. What's up, big dog? Oh, his d came out for a second there. Oh, he likes you. Yeah. Hell yeah. I love when they've got like this tiger snake looking. Mm hmm. Modeling kind of. I don't think I've seen one before that looked quite like that. All right. Well, there is one of the big things that we always like to see here in South Texas the Texas indigo snake. A pretty decently sized male that we, uh, hopefully the GoPro footage came out cool. Kyle leaped over the cactus to secure the indigo before it could disappear into the thorn scrub, but big, beautiful snake. Always, always nice to see. And uh, hopefully not the only one we're gonna see this trip, but if it is, it's a good, big, healthy one. These guys are so, so friendly, so much fun. Always a pleasure to interact with. So we'll uh, get some quick photos and leave him to his business. What a guy. So these guys actually, weirdly enough, will kind of play dead and uh, they will actually kind of open their mouth and you see what he's doing there where he's just like yeah leave me alone i'm dead you don't want to mess with me haven't seen that in eastern indigos but it's kind of cool to see with these guys that he's dead and he certainly smells like it <laughs> a little bit but uh yeah we're gonna let this guy go all right kyle's gonna release our our large friend here back into the uh the cactus from whence he was grabbed the noise an indigo makes when it's moving through the forest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so primal. You see him? There's our second indigo of the morning right there. 
It's another big one, or moderately big. He's, he's moving. Is it moving? Ah, oh, there we go. It's a little smaller, but beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, that one's actually indigo, the, too. He's doing the... Uh, the puff? Yeah. That's a little girl, I bet. And it's got... See, this is that waxiness I was yeah. talking to you about, you know? The other one didn't have it as much. No. This is like... Yeah, you can rub it almost, off. <laughs> it makes them almost look like they're going in shed. But well, I think that's where the indigo color like comes from. Is yeah, that? Yeah, that's why they call them blue. Because their scales are not like. Well, it's like the Lophophora, right? The Lophophora, you know, develops that waxy coating. Yeah. And uh, and turns kind of bluish. Beautiful. I love this size. All right, indigo two. Hopefully not the last. Back to her little grass. She's gone. <laughs> I can still see. Yeah, but at this point, you'd never see. Yeah, like, where'd you go? Oh. Whoa! Oh, my feet, like, my feet hurt yesterday. Yeah, and it wasn't nearly this bad. Jeez! Look at so many rodents. So, yeah. these are coming up this way? Well, I gotta lift this to get to that, but when I lift this... Someone has to hold it. Yeah, I'll put okay. These. I'll put these. Okay, yeah, just be careful not to step on them. No, 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 no. Whoa! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Ah, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> watch out, watch out. Ah! Oh, almost I almost died. <laughs> it's it's either going into or it might be ready to it shed. Might be coming out. There we go. There we go. Now he's going in. Going in. All right, guys. Well, that is what we came to see. Everything else, for the most part, was, you know, nice. But <laughs> this is the thing that, that really drew me down here. And uh, this is this, this is actually, with this being found, I have one real milk snake left to find in the U.S. So that is super, super cool. It's going into shed, maybe, but that's beautiful. Such a gorgeous snake, despite the fact that it is kind of starting a shed cycle or ending a shed cycle. Not sure which, but I'm not complaining. Just happy to see one. We're going to let him go back under his tin and hope we see more throughout the day. We've got quite a bit of time ahead of us, so we'll get back to it. But the main reason for the trip, biggest goal, has been knocked out, finally. What's the welfare program? That was beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful cool. slide. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, yeah! Second one. Here, wait, I want to get try to get the... Yeah. Here. There is number two. That one's not in shed at all. But to get two and one that's very, very freshly shed. Shiny, looking great. High band count, kind of an, a weird looking annulata, wouldn't you say, Kyle? A little bit uh, different. Yeah, it is. I mean, I wouldn't say weird, but it's less common that you get these uh, black crossovers, kind of that hourglass look Yeah. Uh, with that black touches. Yeah, but this guy's this year's baby, right? Uh, yeah, I would say so. So, most definitely. He's got places to be, uh, size to attain, and hopefully genes to spread one day, so. Yeah, more meals. Back to the stack. Exactly what he's doing. There you go, bud. I'll see you around. Yeah, this is like, even in May, like the grass in Georgia is never anything like this. Yep. And it may here if it was dry. Let me go. Big and go. Nice. Hello. Good stuff. Oh, great. All right, there we have indigo number three. A little bit of not GoPro footage of it. It's hard to film these snakes because of how big they are, but I'll actually hand them to you if you're cool with that for a second. I am cool. So get a little. Kyle's going to hand model for us so we can look at this snake a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, another, another decent sized indigo. This one's really glossy. Look at that on the belly. That is just, that is just a fine looking snake. But we'll put him back in the grass and keep moving. Like I said, these, these are not necessarily an uncommon snake down here. So 
always exciting to see because of what they are, but we're in pursuit of things that are a little bit tougher to find currently, so we're gonna keep moving. That belly is gorgeous, and then he's got that. He's like got a little bit of drool going on. He's slobbering? He's slobbering. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let this guy get back to whatever he's doing. Well, they are out in force today, aren't they? Clint's got another one. <laughs> it just keeps coming. I was say, it's pretty filthy today. Heck yeah. Is that bigger than the first one? Yep. <laughs> Biggest one yet, I think. Oh, hell yeah. I'm on like 1% battery. That was cool. Okay. That'd be crazy. So that's our, our fifth indigo. We found a little guy that was unfortunately dead, but fourth live one. Look at that. That's the biggest one yet. Good spot. Clint, yet again, Clint has nabbed the last two out of the uh, dense grass. All right, big dude. Back to the thorn scrub with yet another one. Yeah, we have a lot left. We could double digit indigo today at this rate. That would be cool. I haven't flipped one yet, though. All right, we're going to release number four. Right here where Clint found it. Go, go. Oh, Texas spiny. And a patch nose, nice. Probably the first one I've seen. Patch. Patch double. We're stacking patch. All right. Well, there we have a uh, Texas patch nose double flip. Our first patch noses of the day. So, one of them's definitely prettier than the other, but. Nice to flip some snakes. We'll put these guys back and kind of get into some of that stuff. And Kyle and Clint have been eating these things. They're like native chilies, right? I regret my decision. <laughs> I regret it. Yeah, let's see what the plant looks like here. And they're native down here. They're called chili pekins. Very cool. Hey, there's an indigo. What? Yeah. He was a little guy basking. Yeah, heck yeah. Oh, he's got his mouth open. What are you doing? You ain't gonna bite me. <laughs> That's You're five alive. Yeah. Nice. Five yeah, alive. Need a shed. He's got the he's got those eastern indigo winter bumps. Yeah. Blisters? They don't even really get blisters, they just get bumps like this. Yeah, I, like I think it's from this fighting. Is, this is a fight. Yeah. Is that Someone a got into a fight with a pack rat or something? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's really yeah. funny. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that was ins. <laughs> that was unreal. Wow. Jesus, dude. <laughs> See, had I not been wiping the musk off of the other ones, I would have gotten that you. anyways. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. I guess, and uh, we'll let you go. <laughs> <But> <laughs> incredible. And do the honors. Yeah. Back to where he was. No, oh, he didn't want to go under the ten. Maybe he has a hole over there. Patch. Better. Yeah, I got him. Oh, getting into him. Yeah. This is already the best day I've had here. Yeah. Gecko. <laughs> Red train gecko. Yeah. Go away. Patch. Hello. Another. Man, Got it. It Here, I'll give him to you, so I'll I'll flip. All right, is this it? Yeah. You got two. Oh, okay. my bad. What on earth? They're they're stuck together. Geckos and scorpions. All right. That was a cool back-to-back -back patch flip, just like at the last spot. One was in this stack, one was in the other stack, so we will put them back, back to the stack. <laughs> it's another indigo. Here, let me get a... It might be the same one, but... He's in the bucket. Indigo in the bucket. It's a different one, or is it? Yeah, it's bigger. 
it has different uh different yeah yeah look at the belly different blemishes let me go in the bucket <laughs> <laughs> number six five feet away from the last one he's oh. got food in him look he's got a little bumpy little bolus. bolus let me save this clip i'm almost cut. so yeah. this indigo is doing some gross stuff he's just like this is the one that was in the bucket there and uh kyle was able to make the grab but he is uh he must have been drinking that water because when kyle picked him up he was just like slobbering nasty gross looking slop <laughs> but indigo number six two at the spot most common snake of the day so far all right release good yeah let's let's let him go back to the back to his brush pile Oh, he scared a, he flushed a rat. Oh my god i've never gotten a double that one is insane this is two oh. new ones oh man this is two new ones what's going on here it's so contrasting this, this is awesome this guy's that like new Orleans that's a new yeah thing. that's a f***ing amazing mm. annulata pair it up baby this is the female oh yeah we're gonna get a that that news printing is awesome dude Gorgeous. Looks like straight grab it. She doesn't even look like she's ovulating. Why are they breeding in August? So weird. Well, if you uh, told me this morning that double flipping annulata was going to happen and that they would be our fourth and or our third and fourth milk snakes of the day, I probably wouldn't have believed you. That is insane. And this one's this one's chewing on me. We're trying to. Lovely snakes, milk snakes. <laughs> but uh, this is a beautiful pair of snakes. We've taken a few photos. I think the uh, the flip clip kind of speaks for itself. <laughs> yeah, I think this female is probably my favorite that we've seen. She's the, the one right here on top. The male is kind of in shed um, or starting to go into shed. But both very big, healthy, beautiful milk snakes. This one's kind of a kind of a bit of a, a mean guy. But the girl's been a sweetheart. And... Uh, what a way to start off uh, my experience with this subspecies of milk. Fantastic animals. Huge thanks to Kyle and Clint for helping me make this happen. Really, they did all the work. I just tagged along with them. Um, but it's an honor to be here for the double flip and such a great day in the field. So we'll return these beauties to their tin and maybe see if we can get some more. We still have quite a bit of daylight left and I'm tired of getting bit. So we're going to let these go. Yeah, one of these. He's going to like one of these places. This is your Seems house. Seems like he just I, wants to bite you more. I built you your house. Go into your house. There he goes. All right. Man, she is just so freaking fine. Yeah, she's bussing. Great snake. That red is amazing. All right. Mm. Going to the deep. Big go go. <laughs> He's just gonna sit there. We could get in C2. Oh, he's a little thin. Yeah, number seven. We tied the record. That's oh, yeah. that's the tie right there. Look at the belly on that guy. I gotta go back and get my phone that fell out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got out of the car. Yeah, oh, that's so dude. cool. Seven, that's right. my first cruise to Texas Indigo. Oh, he has a little milk. All right, that's live Indigo number seven eight including our dead one and we did actually see a very very jerky dor two days ago right yeah so we did. the indigos are around down here as it would turn out <laughs> not that that's a secret or anything but not quite oh, yeah. the same animal as an eastern in that regard seven indigos can we get to double digits that's the question now you and can clint get to a hundred indigos 98 <laughs> it's 98 right now is it 98 observations documented that is awesome and uh we have a lot of day left so i think we can knock out those those last two to get to 100 i don't know you see a lot of the property yeah patch can you 
not, dude? What the hell? Uh, big rat. I do that big rat. Oh, yeah. A huge rat. Ready? Did he shed out? Yeah. Wow, well, that's a unit, dude. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, you were pretty. That was a good stack. Yeah. Our first emery eye since first thing this morning and a patch nose. Yeah. That's a big yeah. emery eye. Yeah. Let's pull him out because I don't want to squish him. We need to check this, uh, uh, this other board too, right? Yeah. So there's the patch, and here's Kyle holding this. That is not a normal Great Plains rat snake for those unfamiliar. They, I mean, of course, being a rat snake, they're capable of growing fairly large, but that might be the single biggest one I've ever seen. We saw one in Colorado that was atypical like that too, but that's a that's a that's that's an absolute unit, one might say. So really cool to see one that big. We'll put them back in their stack and uh, continue on. The day's kind of starting to wind down whether we like it or not because darkness is coming, but... We're gonna make the best use of the rest of the daylight and hopefully continue to find snakes. All right, big emery eye back to the stack. You ready? You need a release clip or anything? Yeah, we'll just go. We'll put a bit on, on this end too, just to that gap. Yeah. Get, it. Yeah. get to his boards. Gappy meal. Yeah, good gappy meal. Gappy meal. At Milk Donald's. My hands smell like cow. Oh! Goodness. Wow! Oh, I want to try to get a picture of him while he's in that hole, I think, because once he gets out of there, he's probably going to... It'll be terrible. <laughs> So this is a essentially a cane toad. It's uh, very closely related to what is currently recognized as a, a cane toad. Okay, so these have been split into two species, and the other one is the, the marine toad that is essentially uh, the one that is invading Australia and probably South Florida too. But I'm not super familiar with that scenario and uh, the intricate details of it, but it's a very cool toad. And seeing one in their native habitat here in South Texas the only place they really make it into the United States natively is really cool. So I'm going to show you guys just how big this, this toad is. <laughs> Look at that. That is sick. That is so cool. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. And it's a, a native one. Oh, there's the pea. There it is. Juicy. Oh. Juicy burger. It is very wet down here right now, by the way, so we don't have to worry about harming this guy by causing him to pee and lose moisture. But that is so cool. I wish these dogs weren't barking in our ears, but, you know, you can't have everything you want. But we can have some pictures and video of a really cool toad, so we're going to put him back in his depression under this board and keep flipping this stuff. Really, really cool. Oh, nice. Gracious, He's got a meal. A what a big boy. Bolus Conio. Well, there is my second uh, black stripe snake, Coniophanes. Um, this one's got a meal in it, probably one of those geckos we just saw, so we don't want to mess with them too much. But I did want to give you a better look at a bigger one because the first one we found was kind of small, and just like the first one. Beautiful, beautiful belly. Almost looks identical to a red-bellied snake. Uh, on the belly, at least. On the top side, looks nothing like one, but very, very neat. Look at these mosquitoes flying around. It's definitely time to call it a day. <laughs> And that was that. After one of the most incredible days of herping I have ever had with Kyle and Clint in South Texas, it was time to head back to Houston and catch my flight back to Atlanta the next day. But we did have a little bit of time to kill, so we stopped and did some flipping along the barrier islands on our way back north, and it went decently well considering. So this is heavy, and there's like this tarp edge. Yeah. You have to get, all right. Yep. Three, two, one. Rat. Oh, wow. Big rat. Oh. Island rat. All right, well, there's the first snake of the day. A big, uh, 
Great Plains right on an island. Is that kind of weird? Or no, 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 they're pretty common out here. Stands to reason. Corns are corns are on the barrier islands in Georgia and Florida, so. This is an Look. honorary corn snake. Yep. I'm gonna grab him, I think. Come here, bud. He's cold. Yeah. Kyle's gonna. That's not easy. It almost feels gravid, dude. What? <laughs> or uh, maybe ovulating. <laughs> Is it? Look at the iridescence on this thing. Very freshly shed. Big, healthy, happy looking Great Plains rat that almost looks like it's gravid or ovulating. Very, very healthy snake though. Look at that. This thing is eating good. We'll put her back. Back side of it. Yeah, get on the back side. Wow. Oh, neat skinny though. Yeah. Second one. Well, there we have our next snake of the day, another uh, Emery's rat snake, Great Plains rat, thorn scrub rat, whatever is going on here. But this one's, uh, it's like his eyes are just kind of too far back, or his pupils are too far back in his eyeball. Something is not right with this thing. And I think as a result of that, he's having a hard time finding food in his skinny. All right. It's like a cross-eyed Emery eye. Look at this. That is so interesting. So different looking. <laughs> All right, we'll let him go. I feel bad for this guy, but what can you do? Like this, set on top of the tarp. Oh, no. What is that, coach? Oh, yeah. I was like, what are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got the board. What a weird piece for him to be under, too. Yeah. Nice. Okay. First coach of a long since a long time ago yeah look at it over here all right well as our time is winding down rapidly we have found a couple more snakes but um it's been a fairly slow day no big targets or anything but nice to see a couple more snakes before i return to georgia really really cool little coach whip we have only seen two coach whips this trip kind of surprising but western coach whip different subspecies than the ones in georgia we'll uh let him slip back under his board at this size, they look identical to the ones in Georgia, but when they're fully grown, they're quite different, so. Well, let him go. Nope, 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 you wanna go back. Back under. Back under, dude. And that Western Coach Whip was officially the last snake of the trip. We stopped at a couple more spots on our way to Houston, but none of them produced. Huge thanks to Kyle and Clint for having me out. I enjoyed it tremendously. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed South Texas as much as I did, and I am looking forward to seeing what 2024 has to offer. Happy New Year, and I will see you guys in the next one.